Hey guys, my name is Tanzil and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we are going to see how to install Java Development Kit that is JDK on Windows 11. Now without any further ado, let's first check if the Java is installed on the computer or not. And for that, you can just right click on your start button and then click on settings. Then after that, just click on apps. then select installed apps and then from this search box you can search for java if the java is installed on your computer it's going to pop up and if it's not there that means java is not installed now the second way to check whether java is installed on the computer is to open up your command prompt now for that just press window plus r it's going to open up the run window from here you can just type cmd and then press enter cmd is the keyword for command prompt now here just type java space hyphen hyphen version now if the java is installed then the version of java is going to be displayed here but since the java is not installed that's why it's showing java is not recognized as an internal or external command so that means java is not installed we can close this command prompt and uh, the first step is to download java jdk so just open up your browser. I am using Google Chrome. You can use any other browser and then just look for this download Java JDK. Now in the results, open up the first link which is from oracle.com. All right. Now on this page, you can get all the information related to the installation of Java JDK and you can observe JDK 19 will receive updates under these terms until March 2023. So after that, the JDK 19 is going to be superseded by JDK 20. It's okay, JDK 19 is the latest version as of now. Scroll down to the part where we have these download links. Then from here, just click on Windows since we are installing Java on Windows. Then click on this x64 installer. This is going to download the 64-bit version of the installer package of JDK. Alright, let it download. Now once the download is complete, you can open the folder in which you have downloaded Java. So just right click on your exe file. And then click on run as administrator. Alright, now click on next. Now this is the location where Java is going to be installed. Now I'll suggest you not to change this location because we are going to use this location in the environment variable also. So don't change this location. Let it be the same and just click on next. Now if your computer has an older version of JDK, let's say your computer is having JDK 18 and you are trying to install JDK 19, then the installer is going to uninstall your JDK 18 and then it's going to install the JDK 19. So you don't have to worry about keeping multiple versions in your computer. The JDK installer is going to uninstall the older versions and uh, you don't have to install JRE also it comes with JDK and then finally just click on close so once the installation is finished you can open CMD once again so just hit window plus R and then type CMD and hit enter and then in the command prompt if you type Java space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter now this time you are going to observe that it actually displays the version of Java which is 19.0.1 and Java SE runtime environment. So you can see that which means Java has been installed as well as the path of the Java executables are also updated in your environment variable. If your environment variable had no path to the folder in which Java executables are present, then you will not be able to run this command. So in the older versions of Java, this feature was not available. After the installation, we had to manually set up the path in the environment variable. But in 19.0.1, I can see the change that during the installation, it sets the path also. Now let's see if the installer has created Java home environment variable or not. So just type echo percentage Java underscore home percentage. 
that means the java home environment variable has not been created so let's close this command prompt and then right click on your start button and then click on system all right now from here just click on advanced system settings and then we have this environment variables just click on it now if you click on this path system variable click on edit you can observe that the path to java executables file has already been set this is the path that i was talking about in the previous version of java we had to manually set this path but in the present version the installer sets this path for us so that's a good thing actually now here just click on new and uh, after that minimize it and open your c drive then open your program files then java then jdk after jdk open bin now in the bin folder we have all the executables that have been installed by java so we can set this folder also in the system variable path so what i'm going to do is i'll just copy the location of this bin folder so just right click here and then copy all right now coming back to our edit environment variable window just click on new and then paste the location that you have copied which is till the bin folder then just click on ok all right now we have to create one more environment variable so i'll just click on new and then write the variable name as java underscore home now in the variable value we have to give it the location where the jdk19 is installed so i'll just click on browse directory and then from here you can just browse to your c drive and then inside program files then java and then just select jdk19 and then click on ok so till jdk19 we have to select after that just click on ok all right and we can just click on ok again close all these windows and uh, let's open the cmd once again now if you type echo percentage java underscore home percentage then this time the cmd is going to return the value that java home variable is holding which means we have set up the java home environment variable as well as we have set the path of the java executables because these are very much needed when we start working with java when we start developing programs using java so anyways this completes the installation of jdk and uh, i hope you liked the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching